In this video, the Storm Prediction Center has already issued an enhanced risk for severe weather today, a moderate risk for severe weather for Thursday, with a slight risk and moderate risk for heavy rainfall and flooding for the Ozarks and the Upper Midwest. Welcome back everybody, it's David Schlothauer here, and we are tracking severe weather for today, for Thursday and Friday for the Midwest, the Ozarks, portions of the southeast and the eastern seaboard. So we are taking a look at the 18Z NAM 12 kilometer model, which is a mesoscale model for the deep south, as we're keeping an eye on severe weather. And speaking of that, we do have severe weather over Arkansas and Tennessee for today, as what the model indicates here, we are seeing widely scattered showers and thunderstorms along this warm frontal boundary as it gets better organized ahead of tomorrow's severe weather event. And then of course, if we go back towards the west here, this is where we have that system, the very intense, vigorous upper level low pressure center as it really ejects into the high plains tomorrow. So fast forwarding the clock into Thursday morning, there is your stalled out boundary over portions of the southeast. And then going forward into Thursday afternoon, right around say five and six o'clock, seven o'clock central standard time, this is when the severest weather is going to really blow up, especially over northeastern Texas and southwestern Arkansas. In fact, we have a 991 millibar surface low over the DFW area. We got a cold front and dry line setting up over central Texas, part of the westerly winds coming off the New Mexico plateau. And then out ahead of it, we got that warm, moist air coming off the Gulf of Mexico. You can see it right here. Here is your boundary. Here is your dry line. And here is the bent back occlusion front as it really sets up. So going forward into Friday morning, actually more like Thursday night into early Friday morning, that surface low really deepens pretty quickly over eastern Oklahoma and northwestern Arkansas. 983 millibars to the south. We got that squall line setting up, and that could be the culprit for tornadoes, strong tornadoes, QLCS tornadoes perhaps, damaging winds, 65 to 75 plus mile an hour winds. And then of course, there's your warm sector, and here is your warm front that I'm gonna draw up here in red so you all can see that. And then here is your cold front setting up. Actually, that's your dry line, so to speak, kind of mixing eastward here. And then here is your cold front kind of back in here, and that's gonna swing through. So we got a triple point that is gonna set up right here over portions of northeastern uh, Oklahoma, as well as northwestern Arkansas. This is a very dynamic system, and I'll show you why in just a second. But going forward, here's a look at that system really going to explode. Look at this, 978 millibars over St. Louis, Missouri, moderate to heavy snowfall, blizzard conditions, certainly a possibility. And then, of course, over central Michigan, southern Michigan, there could be some sleet and freezing rain for the millionth time again. You've had a lot this year. You're going to get more as that system moves into your region. Okay, and that's for... Friday afternoon into Friday evening, that system really going to be pretty intense. 986 millibars over Michigan, and then eventually over across portions there of the Northeast by early Saturday morning. Quite a bit of active weather expected once that system goes through with another system possibly approaching California. So now you're, the question is, why is this system going to be so dynamic and really strong? Well, you can blame it on the 500 millibar uh, jet stream pattern. You can see here, this is um, positively tilted. You can clearly see that with the flow kind of coming in out of the north on the western side, rounding the base, and then kind of coming in out of the south like this. This is why the dynamics are not going to set in right away because that positively tilted. But watch this. Once we go into Thursday afternoon here, right around say five to seven o'clock in the evening, you can see that trough then is gonna become more neutrally tilted. So we have the strongest winds here kind of rounding that base, the Barrow Clinic zone over central Texas, southern portion there of Texas. And once that happens, you get a lot of storms that try to develop. We get a deepening surface low. And speaking of that, we have a 110 plus knot jet stream 
that is going to be on the bottom of this 120 knots so going forward we can see the trough here by 0z friday which is early in the morning for central time you can see this is going to be negatively tilted so it's going from positively tilted here to negatively tilted here over say the oklahoma and northern texas and once you get that you get a huge amplification with winds from the southwest here rounding the base between about 100 to 115 knots and that's going to be the source of the severe weather on thursday and even to friday as that lifts towards the northeast into the great lakes now as far as bulk layer shear goes bulk shear is going to be quite strong here anywhere between 60 to 75 knots there may be a few areas here especially in eastern texas where bulk shear might approach 90 knots so we're looking at extreme amounts of bulk shear or effective bulk shear between the surface and 18,000 feet above the surface so kind of in the deep layer here we're looking at quite a bit of southwesterly shear kind of overspreading the warm sector and that's going to really lead to a lot of um, directional shear speed shear we have instability but also we have a lot of moisture and this is going to really favor supercells especially over in this area on the map so kind of northeastern texas the uh, northern Louisiana and central and southwestern Arkansas is where we really got to watch closely. So um, um, the amount of moisture is going to be quite a bit. We're looking at dew points between 65 and 68 degrees um, in many areas, maybe close to 70 degrees in southern Louisiana. So we got a lot of moisture in place. On top of that, we have very steep mid-level lapse rates, anywhere between 6.5 to 7.5, possibly 8 degrees Celsius. And so combining the factors, this is going to yield moderate instability over central and eastern Texas with CAPE numbers here, mixed layer CAPE or convective available potential energy anywhere between about 1,000 to 1,500 joules per kilogram. So we got a lot of instability out there, more than enough to be suitable for a big severe weather outbreak. And I'll show you the SPC here in just a second. So that continues and the instability might be maximized here possibly over southwestern um, arkansas where it might peak at almost 2,000 joules per kilogram so yeah moderate to almost strong instability over this region for thursday night into early friday morning if you're enjoying the video so far please consider subscribing right now to get latest severe weather video updates winter storm updates hurricane updates and live streams on the channel along to go with hitting the like button if you did enjoy today's video let's get this video up in over 100 likes let's even go for 200 likes so if you haven't done it that already that would be awesome so when we take a look at the day one storm prediction center outlook and then we will be talking about tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be very dangerous there is a level three out of five on the severity weather index scale or an enhanced risk over arkansas northern mississippi as well as southwestern tennessee as well as northeastern texas and northern portion most of louisiana under the slight risk for severe weather again that's the orange area here and this is not just an enhanced risk by itself we also have a 10 percent significant for strong tornadoes today in across the little rock arkansas area including for northern mississippi Personally, I don't think this will warrant a live stream just because how conditional this might end up being. But if it breaks out, we might go live today, but I'm not expecting to do much uh, for today since I'll be very busy once this video gets released. But this is driven by a 30% uh, significant for large hail. So there may be two plus inch hailstones across the Arkansas area with 30% non-sig for strong winds, 65 plus miles an hour in the area shaded in red and yellow. So not only that, there's also a moderate risk for severe weather tomorrow. Yeah, a level four out of five on the severity weather index. This includes for half of Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, northeastern Texas, northwestern Louisiana, southwestern Arkansas, and southeastern Oklahoma. Yeah, a moderate risk for severe weather. And yes, this is a high end moderate risk we're not talking a low end here because we have a 15 percent significant for strong tornadoes 
in this area tomorrow. So we are talking about the potential for really intense long tracked tornadoes and across the northeastern Texas into southwestern Arkansas. On top of that, we have a 30% significant for large hail. So possible two plus inch hailstones out of the supercells that do try to develop and along the line. On top of that, there is a 45 significant for strong winds. This could be between 65 to 75 plus miles an hour. There may be a few wind events or wind reports that come out. Won't surprise me if we get gusts as high as 80 miles an hour in the 45 significant risk for severe weather with damaging winds. All right, so big, 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 big Thursday ahead as far as severe weather goes. We don't have the day three outlook on pivotal weather. It's outdated for some reason, but I will tell you there is a slight risk for severe weather over here across the southeast. Georgia, the Carolinas, including for Tennessee, and southern, southeastern, most Kentucky, and Virginia. That could be driven by tornadoes and some strong winds and some hail as well. But most importantly, the flood threat will also be a big deal out of this. We are talking about a 10 to 20% risk today, today for heavy rainfall and flooding from Arkansas, northern uh, Mississippi, northern Alabama, and northern portion there of Georgia, including for Tennessee. So definitely watch the roadways, watch for flooding. Some small stream flooding is certainly a possibility, but most importantly, tomorrow is going to be the day to watch. I mean, this is a full-fledged moderate moderate risk for severe weather, a moderate risk for flash flooding and heavy rainfall from southeastern Oklahoma, much of Arkansas, and northern Texas under the risk here. So definitely, definitely be careful out there on the roadways, folks. Yeah, flooding is nature's number one killer along to go with tornadoes and some damaging winds. Very, very dangerous day tomorrow in the Ozarks because of heavy rainfall, flooding, and severe weather with strong tornadoes. All right, a day three slight risk has been introduced for Indiana and Ohio, including for Northern Kentucky for day three. That would be for Friday into Saturday. So definitely watch the roadways, Ethan, because you're in the Kokomo, Indiana area. I have viewers that live in Indiana and Ohio. Definitely watch the roadways for possible flooding, ponding, maybe some potholes and stuff like that. So just kind of be careful out there because this is going to get wild. This big system, very dynamic, heavy snow, strong winds. It's gonna be really dangerous. Well, that's gonna sum it up for today's video, folks. If you did enjoy the content, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and sharing this video with your family and friends on social media. You guys are really, really awesome. I love you all a lot. I like saving lives, but at the same time, I'm concentrating on learning to drive. So yeah, maybe next year I could actually go storm chasing in my neck of the woods as we track severe weather too locally here in California. So that's why I'm really getting a rush down of getting my license. So we make that possible here on the YouTube channel. Not only that, I have family visiting. So that's why very murky as far as live streaming goes for today and tomorrow. But otherwise, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you tomorrow in the next video. Peace.